Over the last decade, the number of engineers graduating in the United States has decreased from about 300,000 per year to about 70,000 per year. We're all here this morning because we share a commitment to use the vast resources in reach of the 4-H to address a crisis in the American workforce. 4-H is a unique solution to the challenges in this country. It's a proven solution. So we are announcing today that on October 8th, we will host and launch National Youth Science Day, which will be a day across America where millions of young people will do the same experiment across the country. And we hope to create a movement where young people think of science as a cool thing to do, a fun thing to do, and a thing that makes a difference in community. I think people who are members of 4-H are inventive thinkers, are creative thinkers, Hop live this morning from Rutgers University, where we're getting ready for the big 4-H national experiment where kids are turning water into snow. You take a diaper, right? And, and you know that you pour water into the diaper, and then you know it's, it absorbs the moisture. And you cut that open, and you pull the cotton out. What you get is what Malik has here in the bag. And now he's going to work it down to the very end. Yeah. So you see it, right? So that's what's in the diaper. So you see that powder that he's playing with right there at the very bottom? Yes. That powder that's right there is what I had in the bottom of the cup. From Colorado's news leader. Well, when your plants, when you put this in the ground, when your plants go in the ground, they can take the hydro crystals and the roots will go into the hydro crystals and extract the water from exactly. them. Exactly. Now let's do that. Let's gonna put that right in here. And of course we're doing it fast, but you can dump some of this dirt in. It's You're watching KFBS 12. Fox. As Ken Battis reports, 4-H calls it the National Science Experiment. After school, most kids spend time at home watching TV. But University of Missouri Extension 4-H kids, ages 8 to 14, spent time in a chemistry lab instead. It's still jelly. The goal of the National 4-H Science Experiment is to prepare one million youth to excel in science and technology by 2013. I like that we get to like do a bunch of experiments and get to try it out. You're watching New Center 1 at 10. Boys from the Rapid City Club for Boys dissected diapers during the first National Youth Science Day. Now the kids uh, were doing an experiment where they took apart a brand new diaper, removing the core ingredient out. Then they added water and watched as the powder from the diaper turned into a big mass of semi-solid gel. This is WXII 12 News at noon. So I wanted to come in and demonstrate the experiment for you today. Youth are encouraged to take the experiment one step further and figure out how forestry and landscapers and farmers can utilize substances like hydrogels to conserve water. Head, heart, hands, health, tech. For whether it's uh, Intel or USDA or Monsanto, Everybody needs great employees, they need a great workforce, and particularly now we need these scientists. As a matter of fact, we're going to commit to a million new young people who are sparked by the excitement of the science and then go on to science careers over the next five years. We'd like to really fire up about a million new young kids to become great American scientists. 